Hey guys, um, welcome to the press conference. Um, if I could ask people to use the raise hand function in the normal way on the Zoom, and we'll go around the room and start taking those questions. Okay, we'll start with Simon Stone. Hi, Pep. Uh, happy new season. Um, what What are your feelings about Manchester City ahead of ahead of this new season? Given you you finished second last year, but a long way behind Liverpool. The feeling is uh, well. Good morning to everyone. Uh, the feeling is good as always. It's a joy to to work with this player in this club. So. The feeling is is always good, like it was. There was there was a belief a couple of weeks ago that you might have Lionel Messi in your squad. Um, by this point, that obviously didn't happen. Could you just explain, from your perspective, um, how near Manchester City came and what you think about how Messi ended up staying at Barcelona? I think I don't have to explain anything. I think Leo explained, I think, quite well uh, his feelings. I don't have anything to add. He's a, he's a football player from FC Barcelona, from the club I love, uh, and nothing more to say. Is, is Sergio Aguero going to be fit for Monday? No, still, he didn't make one training session with us. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Simon. Next, we'll go please to Andy Hanson. Andy. Hello, Pat. Um, over over the last couple of weeks, um, I see Phil Foden um, was in the headlines. Um, what do you feel he, he's learned from the, this episode and how has he reacted since he returned to the club? Uh, he's, uh, he's well. The time I saw him this uh, three, four days, we, we were together. Um, he, he knows I make a mistake and, and that's all. Okay, and um, you have some new players in your, your squad this season, um, Ferran, Ferran Torres and Nathan Aki. How have they settled in? And uh, are we likely to see them playing against Wolves? So far, it's really good. Uh, what you have to do, all the players and staff and all the people is close to them to settle, to help them, to settle as quick as possible. But uh, the most important thing, they are two uh, nice people, nice persons and... Uh, and he's going to help us. Okay, and the, the club reported um, a couple of weeks ago two positive COVID tests for Riyad Mahrez, Imerick Laporte. How are they now? Are they in contention to play? Uh, Riyad came back uh, three, four days ago. He's training, and today was the first day that Amerik Laporte is coming back to us. So I think uh, Riyad will be available to, to go there. Laporte, not, not yet. Thank you, Andy. Uh, next up, we have Don Farrell. Don? Hello, Pep. Um, yeah, I know you don't like to talk too much about the transfer speculations, but um, Thiago Alcantara is thought to be very close to joining Liverpool. Given he's a player you know very well, and considering David Silva left in that position last season, was a move for Thiago something you considered? No. Why not? Because we have uh, in this position of players, and normally we, we go to contact with our, or uh, move a little bit uh, the the players when we need in, in in the position. In that moment, we have enough players in this position. A part of this, I'm happy that Thiago come from England because England is going to enjoy a good, a really good player. 
in that position, is that somewhere that Phil Foden will play more often this season? Because I know Phil usually played on the left or the right wing when he started, certainly after lockdown. Is playing in one of those number eight positions the future for Phil? Yeah, I can play. Can play in position, midfield position, strikers, striker as well, and wingers. Can play with that five positions up front, uh, feel without a problem. Thanks. Thank you, Dom. Kieran Canning. Hi, Kieran. Hi there. Hi, Pep. Um, obviously, you had a very tight turnaround between the end of last season and the, the start. Back. Sorry, we lost you. Just yeah, yeah, no problem at all. Um, yeah, hi, Pep. It's obviously been a very tight turnaround between one season to the next, and you're starting a week later than a lot of a lot of the other teams. How big a disadvantage is that for the season ahead that you've had such a, a short preparation time? It's what it is. We cannot change the, the situation. We cannot change it. You have to adapt. It's what it is. Okay. And next up, then we go to Fred Caldera. Fred, you're writing now. Hi, Pep. Can you hear me now? Yeah, uh, so good to see you again. Um, obviously, this is the the, the last season of your current contract with Manchester City and you've been in the situation before, obviously. I just wanted to know if uh, it changes somehow uh, within the squad and within yourself, uh, not knowing that you are staying here or living next season. Does it change anything, not, not, not knowing, not, not having this information so far? You're always the same, you're in the same position. So my time is work every day harder or better than than the previous seasons and do the best football as possible to win games and make our people proud of our team. This is my job. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Fred. Next up we have Mike Minet from BT Manchester. Hi. Pep, welcome back. Um, as Simon said, happy new season. Um, the Wolves game last season was obviously, uh, well, both games were, were quite pivotal in the title race. Um, as a game, a, a way to start the season, uh, how tough is that? This season? Yes, to start this season, given the games that you had against them last season, how, how tough do you expect the season opener to be? I see the team as always in incredible mood and uh, it's a joy to work with them as I said before so and with uh, good expectations to do good football and and the results that this club deserve so we we'll continue the, the consistency in the last years we, we got. How tough do you think Wolves will be as an opponent? Are they stronger this year, this season than they were last season? Always was a strong. We play Wolves the first season. We play in Carabao Cup against. They were in the championship. Always was tough. We won a penalty, so always was a real, real difficult game. But uh, will not be different against Leicester the second one or Leeds away or the Premier League. We know exactly how tough it is. Thank you, Mike. John Smith. Hello, Pat. Hi. Hi. Just, on, just on Messi, um, he said he spoke well. He sort of made it quite clear that he would rather have left Barcelona in the summer. Do you see him leaving in the future and would City be interested then? I, I don't know. It's a um, question from, from Leo Messi. I cannot talk about uh, the intentions for other people. Okay, John. Uh, Steve Douglas. 
Hi, Pat. How do you how do you assess your transfer activity this in the off season? I, I, did you get your main targets, and would you like more signings in, in the in the in the summer? Um, I'm so since day one when I arrived here, and I'm more than satisfied with uh, what I had in 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 the team, and I know the club do absolutely everything to to do their best for for not just for me, for the team, for all of us. So. It's going to happen, it's going to happen. You have to stay with the players that we have, we'll be happy. And you have to move someone because sometimes it's the players who decide to leave. So, and of course, suddenly I don't never ever before and never in the future ever um, I'm going to complain about this. So, I'm a lucky person to have these players to be in this club, and, and that's all. And can I just ask a question about Nathan Ake? Is he? Would would he be an option at left back as well? Is that is that one of the reasons you targeted him because he can play centre back and left back, or is he main centre back? We bought it as a centre back, but sometimes we we'll help us when the full back in. But we want it as a central back, not like a left back. But maybe one day or two, I don't know. Depends of the situations, the injuries or whatever can play there. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. Okay, final question for the embargo is from Shivan Shakrabarty. Uh, hi, Pep. Uh, this is Shivan Chakravarty from Z Media. Uh, my question to you will be: What are your plans with the transfer window? Because you have bought already bought uh, Nathan Ake and Ferran Torres, and heavily linked with uh, Kalidou Koulibaly. So, is there any update on uh, any other players you want to bring in this uh, transfer window? No, I don't talk. I don't talk never in the media about the transfer window. <laughs> 